and concrete Biz and concrete This is me and Phil, um, Brutalist Beauty's channel. Subscribe now. Um, this is the Royal Festival Hall. Uh, we're going to be looking at some of the architecture here today in London, especially the uh, Brutalist uh, Masterpiece. masterpieces. That's it, isn't it, boy? Good times. So uh, yeah. we'll see. Maybe you. a few diversions into bits of modernism as well. Yeah. Maybe some trees. Yes, trees. A little Pixar fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's going to be a bit of a mixture here today at Brutalist Beauties. Um, <laughs> comment below. We're just going to the National, oh no, Royal Festival Hall. God, it smells bloody good round there, Mike. <sighs> oh yes, I can see it, Mike. So he's got all these modern buildings over here then you come across to the fantastic structure here yes. an inflatable teapot cool yeah very Angular, yeah, it's just like precision. So, we've got the Hayward Theatre here, and behind it, the uh, oh no, sorry, Hayward is it Hayward Theatre? Much Hayward, Hayward Gallery, Hayward Theatre. Gallery, that's it, the Hayward National Gallery, Theatre the National Theatre in the yeah. distance there, National Film Theatre near here. Oh, it's Oh, how's your head? Some sort of body parts. Nothing to be concerned about. National Gallery here. Wow, lovely architecture up here. Hey. It's just amazing to think this is open to the public. So this is the National Theatre, isn't it, Mike? I think it's still Hayward. Oh, Hayward, so it's still it's Hayward. Still gallery or something. Nice. Lovely gardens. Ah. So we're on the Queen Elizabeth Hall roof garden at the moment and just fantastic all the all the plants and greenery with this mixed with this sort of concrete structure. Uh, Phil's telling me that it took so long to get this place built due to funding and uh, workers going on strike that the brutalist architecture had actually gone out of fashion by the time this place opened in the late 70s, it's so, uh, <laughs> pretty crazy really, but cool, absolutely fantastic. Um, I didn't know you could uh, do that in an SJ. <laughs> it's the now 60 60s. Going to floor six to check out oh. the um, poetry. Cool. Oof. Oof. This is fantastic, right? Great view of uh, South Bank from the uh, National Gallery here. Me. 
amazing views from the South Bank Centre. And the actual inside is not going back in time. I love it. It's, uh, it's a great place if you're visiting London. Somewhere to chill out. Fantastic carpet. So I've just realised the skate spot on South Bank is actually under the. Um, it's, it's the. Uh, is this Haywood or is this the. It's the Haywood or the. Or the Purcell. The Purcell uh, Gallery. Yeah, this fantastic structure has been taken over by um, the skateboarders. Absolutely fantastic. So we've made it to the National Theatre. Cool, look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, steps on the right here. We might try and enter from that way. Um, Phil say we can take a look around inside, which I think we might do. Should try we head to the Barbican. Yeah, sounds good to me, you might. It's blocked again. Oh, oh, what? Realised that all interlinked, you've got the Hayward Gallery, the South Bank Centre, and the uh, what I've forgotten oh, National Theatre. National <laughs> <laughs> the National Theatre, you can get across it from this uh, bridge, which is quite ominous. A waft of piss and um, concrete. And where's that go? Ah, damn. Worth a try. Cool. Tell you what, I'm a lot taller than... Blimey, must have been shorter in the 60s. Me and Phil are leaving the hustle and bustle above us. I'm going into the lower quarters of the National Theatre. We don't actually know where this Ooh. goes. Blimey, all right. It's a car park. What? It's got that, that smell to it, right? That ambiance. Uh, bloody no. Crazy to think that huge structure is above us. Wow. Yeah. National Theatre is bloody massive. Phil's just informed me there's actually three theatres along here. Um, we might stop and treat ourselves to a beverage and appreciate the architecture before heading to the Barbican. Designed by Dennis Lousden. The, the bar up there, Mike. Uh, so that bar there, and they've got, they've got some like coffee bits inside as well. Nice. Yeah. So Phil's got some fantastic maps, which we'll be following today. Brutalist areas and craft beer so it's best of both worlds here at uh, uh at brutalist beauties online cool <laughs> that's the way you wanted this that's where we're going that's where we're headed that's where we're, we're now. here little track via uh, a beer <laughs> expert planning from it. phil here Cool, yeah. It's like put on the beer filter and on top of the Brutalist, <laughs> <laughs> Brutalist uh, London map. <laughs> um, so we're around here. They're oh, all, yeah, they're all yeah. a lot of them around. So we're going to go barbecue. Cool. Barbecue there, we've got some, we've got Fox and Anchor, or the old red cut cow. <laughs> old red cow. <laughs> the old red cow. <laughs> you might go off piste. Wow. Just the Slightly off piste. Yeah. Via Blackfriars on the way to the barbecue. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah.
Uh, just the juxtaposition here of the old building of St. Paul's and the, the modern... I think, yeah, that's the walkie-talkie one on the right, right? Yeah. And that was... Uh, oh, the Opso building there. Oh, yeah. What's that, like, for gravy, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> that's like a... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> found the uh, access point to the Thames. So, uh, yeah, should have brought the old uh, dinghy, Mike, because I've got one at home. It's got St. Paul's Cathedral in the distance there. And to the left, that's where we're heading, the Barbican. Uh, we should be there shortly after a Cheeky Spoons shipyard and something else. brutalist structure in front of the modern walkie-talkie building here. It's uh, quite surreal. The walkie-talkie building was uh, a bit of a uh, focused... Oh yeah, the old shard. Wow, great views here of London today. Great weather. Happy days. Baynard House. Here we go. It's uh, Phil. BT Exchange building, I think. Nice. Wasn't on the Brutalist map, but. Cool. Look at this. This is old school. Not the most imaginative building since sliced bread, but it served a purpose, still does. I'm just gonna have a closer look. In the heart of BT Exchange right now. 60s. <laughs> My God. That's it. Whoa. It's insane. What is this statue, Mike? It's called the Seven Faces of Man. Seven Faces of Man. Oh yeah, you got uh, Steve Jobs. <laughs> uh, Tintin. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that top one. What? Oh, yeah, it's, a skull. It's, from, it's from Baby Child. It's the state, yeah. Oh yeah. Through to death. Infant to death. Oh my God. Yeah. Sheesh. Starting from the infant here, moving up into the middle age, to where I am now in later life. Baynard House. An old church there amongst the Baynard. There's the statue, the walkie-talkie. Which one's walkie-talkie? I can't remember. Not too far to go. 10 minutes. We'll be near the vicinity. I watched the ghost of the underground. this place. 
Mate, this, this part of the barbecue might. It's this will be, isn't it? Oh my god. It's insane. Ah, oh, that sort of piss smell of the concrete. So cool. Next to this really old sort of. Mm. So we're here, the Barbican. <sighs> Penthouse up top there is a huge, absolutely fantastic. Some sort of green gardens. It's very imposing, but you don't feel like claustrophobic too much. Like it's kind of uh, open. Nicely done, very nicely done. Because I think the, other, the water's actually through there as well. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. New construction is sort of happening in the background. It's quite sort of nuclear the water, doesn't it? Them stone yeah. that bloke is or them stone. Old meets the slightly less old. Fantastic. So peaceful around here. It's insane. It's like a brutalist water slide down there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. it. Just gives it real tranquil sort of quality. Lots of pillars. Yeah. Holidays, it's like a different world, do you know what I mean? This sort of Blade Runner. James Bond. James Bond. And I even imagined really, it. Really? more bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60s. 60s. <laughs> Just going down to the ground. I'm then going to walk up for Vodka Martini. Shake it, not start. This place is insane. I bloody love it. It's like a different world. Skylights through the concrete. 
あのはい。<笑>
from the brutalist architecture of the Barbican down to the old London Wall remnants of the past. It's one of the many walkways here. Part of the Roman city wall, the newest part going down and below. Going to the other side, the original Roman part. Fantastic. Hench car park here at the Barbican, and it might. Look at the, yeah, what, the, the old, that's going from the old to the new there. Yeah. What would have been the other side of that before? Just, I don't know. That's so weird, they're like holding it up with like metal, like concrete to metal, like. Right? It's <laughs> a new headway. Yeah. I wonder what was there before, because. <sighs> Crazy. Head way to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's a good idea actually, Mike, because then we could use it for part of the 60s control tower. <laughs> Old technology. The Barbican just keeps on going. The concrete gift that keeps on delivering, making a fantastic view towards our pint. <sighs> Lovely jubbly. So at Pivo, the Czech beer hub, I went to Prague a few years back and the beer was absolutely amazing. So uh, let's see what we think. So uh, here Beers and concrete, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one, Mike. So here we are, beers and concrete. This Czech bar is incredible. <sighs> so much choice, like. So we're gonna work our way through every beer on the menu and we're gonna rate each one. We'll see you in a week. So we're having beer number one, which is that Mataska Zvankta which is a Pilsner, a Czech Pilsner 5.1 and here they are. <laughs> Cheers, Phil White! Oh, yeah. Good drop, that Pilsner. Good drop, that Pilsner, Mike. That Pilsner, Matsuka. It was a great chip down nostalgia. <laughs> Beers and concrete. Subscribe now, comment below, leave your reviews. Here we are at Camden Hells Brewery, and we're going to get two Marmite beers to sample. What do you reckon, oh, yeah. Phil? Might? So here we go. We're going to sample the the Marmite Camden. Yeah. Will we love it? Will we hate it? We'll let you know. Here we go, uh, we've got our Camden uh, deck chairs. Oh, I'm going to take my arm. Oh, it's the question. Oh, I know. Ooh. Here we go. Oof. Oof. Give it a sniff. It's quite my my tea. Is it? Yeah. Quite my my smell. The yeast extract. Uh, yes. Cheers. <laughs> all yeast. <laughs> ale, oh, ale yeast. <laughs> Cheers, Mike. Hey. 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 That's quite nice. Yeah. It's a Whoa. very marmite taste. Yeah. Um, but obviously, marmite is sort of like the yeast extract that they used to get from um, mm. the ale, you know, creating beer in the vats and scraping the the yeast extraction from that so it's not really that peculiar no but i'll tell you what would go well meat, with this it's a meaty sort of marmite taste to begin with definitely a, a good old hit of the marmite taste I'll tell you what will go good with this mike 
cheese. Absolutely. And a bit of bloody toast. A bit of bloody toast. Cheese on toast and the Camden Marmite Ale. You'll be made. Absolutely made. So that's two loves from uh, uh, Beards and Brutalism. Uh, beer, beer, beers and Brutal. Concrete beers. Concrete and beers. Beers and concrete. <laughs> beers, and con beers and concrete. We don't forget it. Beers and concrete. Subscribe now. Comment below. Get your Marmite Camden Hell's beer. Whee! A bit of cheese and some toast. Job done. Cool. There's beer, yeast, and marmite, and there's marmite in this beer. <coughs> cool. I wonder if it's vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying. No. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans alike. This fantastic drop, Camden Marmite, love or hate it, Marmite Ale. Two thumbs up from me and Phil from Beers and Concrete. We'll see you next time. Subscribe now, leave a comment below. Beers and Concrete, signing out. Beers.